So, since August, when we launched this book, yes. over 24,000 of these books have been Thank ordered. Thank you, everybody. And already 200 in this show. Now, you know and love Tara from Temptations. Temptations has been a brand on QVC how long? 17 years. 17 this years year. this year. And Tara has written four cookbooks. Now, the first three were customer favorites, yeah. themed or special types recipes. But this book is different because this recipe comes from your heart. Yeah, this, absolutely. And I love to say that, right? The past books have been about kind of my mom's recipes, my grandmother's recipes, and there's some in here. But this is really what I love to cook. David wrote the forward, and as he says, he's come to many dinner parties at my house. He's I been have. eating my meals for many, many years. Long time. And what's great about this is for me, always food is an, ex is an expression of love. And these recipes are easy. There's nothing exotic in them, but they are stick to your ribs. They're delicious, and they're something you're going to want to make time and time again. Here's something I said in the forward, and yes. I'll just read the last sentence. I said, let Tara take you on a culinary journey, and one thing will happen for sure. You'll be thrilled you made the trip. I love that. And it's very true because there's such a great variety in here, and you're going to love these recipes because they're all family friendly. They are. And you've got little ones and older ones to cook I do for in now. your family. Absolutely. And, and that's I'm, exciting because you've got a, a beautiful blended family now. I do. And so I'm going to show you exciting. that mac and cheese after. But I want, David, you to start with not your grandmother's chicken pot pie. I'm and ready. you will appreciate this for a lot of reasons. First of all, there's a shortcut in there. We okay. use rotisserie chicken. Love it. From the grocery store. Yep. So I love that. Already pre made. I'm all but in. the secret is when my grandmother used to make the chicken pot pie, it used to be hours and hours. So labor intensive. Yep. Here, you're going to cook all of your vegetables. You're going to rip that rotisserie chicken apart. And then you're going to put stovetop stuffing on top of it. Mm. Pre packaged. Another shortcut. Another shortcut. I spit on you. Ha that's okay. All right. That's mm. what friends are for. Mm. <laughs> Honey, this is amazing. Tell me how good that is. So good. So hearty. Yes. And the nice thing about this, it's got that savory stuffing that you make from the box mix. Yep. Shortcut. Love it. Love. Rotisserie chicken. Yes. Love. Or if you want to buy pre-cubed chicken, you can do that in the in the cold meat area. This so, is lovely. So that's what I love. All of the seasoning, everything you love, and again, you're getting it on the table quickly. And at the end of the day, that's what we love because we don't have a lot of time. We're busy. We're doing different things. I got to get into this mac and cheese. 500 Sorry. of these are already gone. Do you want another spoon? I got it right got here. It. So here's what I love about the mac and cheese. We put cornflakes on top of that. I know that that probably sounds so strange to you, but I promise you, all it creates is that beautiful and crunch. And these are sweetened cornflakes, right? No, of course not. And these are the ones you would add sugar to if yes. you had them for breakfast, right? And here's the deal: three cheeses. That's the secret. One being Havarti. I joke that this is my grandkids' favorite mac and cheese because look at the ooey gooey, look at the delicious. But you're going to have the crunch of the cornflakes that doesn't add any taste, just texture. Tell me what you think. Mm. I, I actually know you like this because I've made it. For you. I, I had him taste test this. You one. have, and I absolutely <laughs> love it. And I love the corn chips because they add a great crunch. Yes. Without adding a zero sweetness. These are not. That's right. Frosted flakes, okay? No, they're not. These are regular corn flakes, and everybody at your table will be doing the happy dance. Yes, I love there it. it. I love it. I love it. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. How many gone? Okay. 700 books are gone. What's next? All right, I want to make uh, some slow and saucy pork tacos for you. I know you like Ooh, tomato. I know I you do. don't mind my fingers. Not I'm actually going to make it on a soft shell for you because I think it would be easier for I you. I like the tortillas. Yep. Okay, so here's the deal make it in your slow cooker. If you want to do it kind of quick, you can do five to six hours. If you want to do it low and slow, eight to nine hours. You're going to use taco sauce. You're going to have your cumin. You're going to have all your different seasonings. Throw it all. Don't even think about it. Get home and shredded and ready to go. Tell me, tell me. Love. Isn't it so good? So good. First of all, if Taco Tuesday could be every day, I'd be on board. It's my favorite thing to make. And you know that from my guacamole as Tacos well. Tacos are the, are the bomb. Taco Tuesday every day. Hashtag. I love it. Hashtag. Okay. So you've had your savory. You want some sweet? Yes, please. Okay. Now, we are very busy. Since we launched this book in August, 24,000 in this show alone. Now 25,000 because another 1,000 gone in this show. Okay. Now, look how gorgeous this is. Uh huh. Now you got a smaller version and here. And it, it's a no bake, and I want to talk a little bit about that because what I love: sour cream, cream cheese. Again, no crust other than we crumbled the graham crackers around the edges, and then we lined it with those gorgeous raspberries. Again, a great meal, quick and easy. And if you want to do reduced fat, of course you can do that. But we made it in our little individual ramekins so that now everybody has their own portion. Just dig into the center Ooh. of this, my love. Yes, I'm telling please. you, it is so good, so easy. And for me, when I want a sweet treat, this. This to me is a no brainer. No bake. No bake. Couldn't be easier. Oh my goodness. It's so creamy and so good, <laughs> but so balanced. Yes. And I love that you, that you, that it's not too sweet, not too tart. Right. It's just right. And those raspberries are delightful. I want to paste you the book. So nice. I want to show you guys gorgeous 
Gorgeous color photos. Look at this. Nice large print. We heard you loud and clear. And you love the photos. Easy to, oh, there are the tacos. And there's always some tips in there too, David, like a healthier spin or maybe something you haven't thought about before, or maybe a recipe shortcut. A supermarket shortcut you know like you, you talk about? Make, you should Tell make me. a stoneware taco holder. I think you're right. Have <gasps> you already started on it? No. You should. I should. And and make it where it would hold like eight. Okay. Or twelve. What a double decker. Oh, a double decker. <laughs> oh, we're in London, we're on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. All right, look at this. This is fantastic. Look at all the gorgeous pictures. 1,500 books are gone. Hello, one pan barbecue chicken feast. I love that. Oh, is there anything nicer than barbecue chicken when you get it all over your face? No, because oh, the stickier word. and the ooer and gooer it is, the better. There's oh, there's the, the, there's the pot there's pie. The pot pie. So again, so easy. I love the Reuben, the Reuben sliders. The Reuben sliders are so yummy. And the secret there is Eat. that you buy those rolls and you can do them in like a sheet. You just cut, slice right through them and bake it right on there. Tortellini so vegetable soup. All How delightful. Soups. And you, oh, drizzle a little olive oil of on Of course, because why wouldn't you? You know what? All right, we have 90 seconds left. What do you want to eat? Uh, I know you're going to want to eat our peanut butter pie. Thank you. Okay, let's talk a little Goldilocks here. This took me three different tries to get it right, but I think we did. Until it was just right. Chocolate cookies down on the bottom. You're going to press those in with some butter. That makes the crust. Then you're going to fold in, of course, your peanut butter. All the deliciousness. I mean, how good? <laughs> how good is that? So whether you're making mac and cheese, whether you're making desserts, ooey gooey chocolate cake. Okay, I'm gonna. Unbelievable! I'm this gonna, is so good. I'm gonna stuff you. You can tell I don't do this often because I'm just like, here you go, here you go, here you go. No, no, you have to have a fresh one. Okay. You don't want to mix the peanut butter in with the ooey gooey chocolate cake. Secret would is you in the mix sour peanut cream. With chocolate? I couldn't imagine. <laughs> Who would ever want to do that? And then put some bacon on it. Okay. Mm. But we did chicken cacciatore. Oh, hey, by wait, the way. Wait, wait, wait. Pump the brakes. Sorry. Ooey gooey chocolate cake is ooey gooey moist. It's you know why sour cream. Mm. That's the secret inside there. And then oh, we also did a corn casserole that you have to try later. I want your I would totally will. point of view on that. All right. Delicious. Hey, let me just update you now. Since August, 26,000 books ordered in this show alone. 2,000 books. Thank you, everybody. And we only have 6,000 books remaining. That's it. So we've taken orders for 2,000 in this show. I've got 6,000 left. That brings us to a whopping 26,000 total since launch, just since August. This is awesome. I wrote the forward for this book because not only do I love these recipes, I love this lady. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your book. Look right here, darling. Make it in stoneware. Stoneware. That Double holds decker. The tacos. I got it. Perfect. Love it. All right, here we go. Oh, maybe you could put sombrero hats on it or ooh, chili peppers. Perfect. Chili peppers Perfect. would be cool. Maybe some art. All right, is it time for Germac?